Audi Q3 Trans China Tour 2011. 5,700 kilometers, 16 stages, and 20 Q3s driving through mainland China. Today we'll drive 635 kilometers from Qingdao to Nanjing. Good morning, and welcome back to the Audi Trans China Tour 2011. Once again, I'm your host, Brendan Madden. Our time in the city with German history and famous beer was too short. But to get us started today, we have professional race car driver Emanuela Piro. Emanuela, how was the trip so far? Hi Brandon, the trip was really, really cool. I mean, I got two treats in one. One was driving a really, really cool car, and two was driving it around a fantastic place. Fantastic, now did you get a chance to try any of the local beer? I, I had, but last night. Last night? We know there's zero tolerance in China, but actually, as a professional driver, I also have zero tolerance with myself. Yeah, we are also gonna leave the beers behind today as we go on the longest stretch of the entire trip, nine hours today, all the way to Nanjing. Hope to see you there. You'll find the Q3 is the perfect vehicle to take advantage of the road conditions on Chinese freeways. Like most aspects of China's economy, the country's infrastructure and construction program is also massive in scale. By 2015, the government plans to add 85,000 kilometers of freeway, almost seven times the length of the entire freeway network in Germany. By then, all cities with 200,000 inhabitants or more will have direct access to a freeway. After a beautiful morning drive, we are now 300 kilometers south of Qingdao in Lian Yungang. This once fishing village is now an important port for the worldwide shipping of Chinese goods. And we continue on our way to the destination for today's stage, the former capital of China, Nanjing. China is urbanizing rapidly. Today, roughly half its population lives in cities. By 2049, McKinsey predicts it will be 80%. Cities like Nanjing already have more than 8 million inhabitants, but smaller cities are growing as well. This is encouraged by the government, as it hopes that the new urban residents will earn more than they did as rural peasants, and will thus spend more money on consumer goods. So why not spend a little money on one of Nanjing's specialities, stinky tofu? Well, we made it, and right now we're in the center of Nanjing at Fujir Miao, and we're about to try the local specialty, stinky tofu. Oh. Wow, it's stinky, and it definitely has a special taste. The only thing I can say is you've got to come here and try it for yourself. Stinky tofu. But Nanjing has plenty to offer besides stinky tofu. Ancient walls, historical buildings and monuments, famous tree-lined avenues, all make this a real tourist hotspot. All the Q3s are just rolling into Nanjing, and look what we found. Serge, one of the Hi. test drivers, how was your day? It was fantastic, and especially the long, long bridge driving out of Qingdao was great to drive. Yeah, now this is the third day. Have you learned any Chinese? Ni hao. Ni hao, which means... Hello. Hello. Do you know goodbye? No. No. Okay, I'm going to teach you. You go, zai jian. Zai jian. Zai jian. Zai jian. There you go, good job. I'm also going to have to say zai jian for tonight, but tomorrow we're headed to the Venice of China, Suzhou, and one of the most futuristic cities in the world, Shanghai. See you then. 